Uh, my name is Anna McDonald, and today I'm going to be talking to you about whether or not we're going back to school on October 19th. The school board is supposed to make a decision whether we are or not on October 8th. If we did, we would not all go back at the same time. It would be staggered, so 6th grade would go first, then 7th grade, and then 8th grade. We would use hand sanitizer regularly, wear a mask, and please be respectful of the students and the staff because this is a very stressful time for everybody. Today's two famous quotes come from Gandhi. Be the change you want to see in the world, and the future depends on what you do today. Hey MMS, I'm Campbell McLean, and I'm going to be doing a segment called Today in History. So, today on September 23rd in 1846, astronomer Joanne Gottfield became the first ever person to explore and observe our planet Neptune. In 1980, reggae artist Bob Marley had his last concert, and he sold out. He had it in Pitts Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but unfortunately, he died of cancer the next year. And then lastly, in 2004, Hurricane Jean caused several floods in Haiti, causing over 1,000 deaths. Hi, I'm Jackson Milner, and I'm reporting special birthdays. Our first birthday is Will Smith. Happy birthday to Will Smith. Will Smith is an American actor, producer, and rapper. He has won five Golden Globe Awards, two Academy Awards, and four Grammy Awards. Also, happy birthday to Scottie Pippen. Scottie Pippen is a former American professional foot basketball player. He played 17 seasons in the NBA and won six NBA championships with the Chicago Bulls. Also, happy birthday to Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill is an American actor who is best known for starring in multiple Star Wars movies as Luke Skywalker. Happy birthday! What's up, Mustang Nation? Uh, today in sports, we got... In the NBA, Tatum and the Celtics come back and take one game from Bam and the Heat. Their next game's tonight. LeBron and the Lakers go up two games against Jokic and the Nuggets. But takes one game, but Jokic takes one game back from them. Is this going to be another choke in the Western Conference? I still got the Heat coming out on top in five, though. In, a, in the NFL, the NFL is back playing again, even with COVID-19 around. It's going to be an interesting year. Cam is coming back off his injury and starting to look like MVP, MVP Cam again. McCaffrey for our Panthers is still unstoppable in the run game. The Packers walked right over the Lions with ease, winning 42-21. to, tw 42 to 21. The Chargers took the Chiefs all the way to overtime, but still fell short. Another close game was the Cowboys against the Falcons. But the Cowgirls, oh, sorry, I mean Cowboys, Cowboys win at 40-39. to In the MLB, baseball is back and it's better than ever. Games are starting to be played, and the cheating Astros are doing decent. But they definitely have been doing worse since the incident. The NL Central Division is having a dogfight for the second, third, and fourth place. The Reds, sitting at 500. The Cardinals, two games above 500, and the Brewers, also at 500, are all fighting for that spot in the playoffs. The Yankees had no trouble beating the Blue Jays 12 to 1. In hockey, the Stanley Cup Finals are now on with the Dallas Stars and the Tampa Bay Lightning. They're both tied at one game. And in other news, Mikey Williams has transferred to the Lake Norman Christian Academy and will be finishing his high school career there. Go see him if you can. I'm sure most of you are familiar with the app TikTok. If you are not familiar with TikTok, what it is is you can record anything you want up to 60 seconds and you can post it on the TikTok platform. It also has a For You page where it comes up with TikToks based on what you've liked. You can just scroll through it and it's pretty entertaining if I do say so myself. But it also has a following page with people you follow. Many people are not a big fan of TikTok because it has been caught used to get information from the US, which is very dangerous. So President Trump gave TikTok a 45 day notice to get bought by US companies so it wouldn't have to get banned. Luckily, a 
software company Oracle has bought TikTok, so it will not be getting banned that we know of. And that is very good for me because I don't know about you, but I love going through my For You page, so... This is Annalise, and this segment of news will be about COVID-19 updates. Unfortunately, we don't have the amount of cases for this week, but today I'll be saying the number of cases last week and the number of cases and death totals for today. Death tolls from last week amount to 6.2%, and the number of COVID cases actually went up 0.6 to 1.6% from the week before. The total amount of cases in the U.S. today are 6,825,697, with 199,462 total deaths, with 2,063 cases per 100,000 people. There have been 196,501 cases and 3,316 deaths in the state as of Wednesday. There are currently 912 people hospitalized. The state has completed 2,842,427 tests. 5.3% tests po returned positive as of Wednesday. Dr. Manti Cohen, Secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services, said the goal for this benchmark is 5%. As of Forsyth County's numbers, Forsyth County has 6,886 positive cases and Forsyth County has had 96 deaths because of COVID-19. We are currently in North Carolina's Phase 2.5. Hopefully, we can go into Phase 3 in a couple of weeks. Thank you for watching, and please stay safe from COVID. Peeps have been going through a couple of events lately. First off, the company of Peeps will not be selling their holiday Peeps marshmallows for Christmas or Halloween. Another reason Peeps is in a scramble is because of the organization called PETA, or known as People for Ethnical Treatment of Animals, has a problem with Peeps using pork skin and pork bones in their gelatin in their Peeps.